Hi, Scorpio, getting ready to do a reading for you. Let's see what is going on for you, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. All right. You have stars, guaranteed success, and you are on the right path with some aspect of your life. We'll clarify that to see what it is. What other messages for Scorpio? You also have an October. Pay attention to your work affairs with your family. Okay, there may be something coming up in October that might take you away from your job. It makes me feel like, like somebody could be ill or something could happen. You may have to take some time off. That's kind of what I'm picking up there. Okay, what is this? You're on the right path. Knight, page of Cups, reaching out, Ace of Cups, okay. Reaching out, love, Ace of Coins, wow. Two of Cups, Six of Wands, Scorpio, well, wow. Okay, so messages are coming in. You're open to something, maybe you feel stuck, that's under the deck. Um, so there could be someone reaching out, maybe you're manifesting love or a new relationship. And that will pick up and start moving forward. You know what also I'm getting? Okay, yeah, star card just fell out. So that's what it is. So I feel like maybe you're manifesting new love or true love, something like that, something long-term, a commitment here, and Spirit's saying that's the right path to be taking. Show me this, pay attention to your work in October. Sun. Yeah, I'm kind of getting, the thing I'm getting is that you may be taking some time off or needing some time off, but for a good reason. Affairs with your family. Could be a fire sign who needs to talk to you and manifest something or create something and ending death. Someone may pass away or something, but there, I don't think so. I actually, I don't get that. I get someone's ending something. So affairs with their family, there's a fire sign here is communicating, manifesting some sort of ending move. Someone may be sick though. Yeah, something with the family though, 10 of cups. Leo energy, Scorpio, you're there. So again, so it says pay attention to your work, affairs with your family in the month of October. So maybe someone's quitting. Maybe it's like a family business, someone wants to quit, wants to retire. Okay, what's going on for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? Feeling stuck, Five of Swords, the Moon energy, the foundation is a Ten of Cups. You can't see that, so I'll move everything up. And we have the sun. So good news, good energy. Under the deck, I do see the devil. That may be the challenge. So maybe I feel like the challenge is feeling stuck or getting out of a negative situation, not knowing what to do, or negative thinking for you right now. So you have the eight of swords. You have letting something go. Oh, someone may not want you to go. This is like letting something go, walking away, and then someone chases you or comes after you, possibly. Could be a Capricorn. Someone who may be dependent on you, but you're not dependent on them. Let's see, we have the King of Wands, the Chariot, and the Lovers. Could be a fire sign. Could be a fire sign that wants to either reunite or re, uh, you know something like that. I don't think this is new love. I think this is somebody from your past. So we also have Gemini, Cancer energy. Show me this moon energy. Listen to your intuition. The wheel is turning. There's something new coming in on the rise of the Three of Wands. There's something you don't see. It's a cross from the sun. So I feel like the thing that you did, Scorpio, is that you started manifesting something different, something new, something instead of like doing the same thing, you said, okay, if this isn't going to work, then I'm going to pick this instead and, and manifest this. And I feel like that was what you were supposed to do. There could be someone who doesn't want to see you move, move on, something like that as well, or make changes. Show me the Ten of Cups and the Foundation, Eight of Coins, Knight of Cups, and the Seven of Wands. I feel like you have to use discernment this month, maybe in October as well. Look at the suns under the deck. But I feel like you know as a Scorpio which path to pick. I feel like there's people who are trying to maybe hold you back or people who you don't want to date again or it's your family trying to keep you. Maybe some of you, it's family. Family who don't want you to move on or don't want to make changes or something like that. So maybe the sticking point is also your family for this month. They don't feel like you should be doing something different possibly or someone else's family. But show me the the son. Now this maybe is also like children, grown children too can be family. So it's like somebody wants to stop you from doing something. As maybe it's a fire sign. So what is this sun energy? 
Page of Wands, the Ace of Wands, the Judgment card, the Six of Pentacles. I'm going to take a couple, two more in the Knight of Coins. This over here, the Sun, again, there's a lot of passion. There's fire energy. There's earth energy. There's gifts coming in for you. Um, so you may start dating a game of Seven of Cups. Maybe that's part of it because it did show like the path, Empress energy, star. It's almost like... You're playing too small, Scorpio. There's like energy around you that's old. Like you need to get out of that. You need to be open to gifts, open to new things, new people, people giving to you. Um, I feel like there's someone who really is head over heels for you. Who has you on your mind. Wait, has, oh, I'm sorry, did I say wrong? Has you on their mind. They want to give you something. Again, might... Yeah, it might be for some of you, it's hard, it's, I can tell there's like two, at least two different vibes here in your reading, maybe even three. There's like old, you know, like trying to keep you, and then there's new, new energy that's better, the spirit likes. Okay, um, I see something big coming in for you, and it does come to love. The feminine energy, which would be you, manifesting dreams of letting go, okay, enlightenment. Now, manifesting dreams is in reverse, but I think it's just, okay, I'm getting you even manifesting the wrong thing, Scorpio. I feel like if you do like a, a 180, a change, um, also let something go that's not going to work out or something, but I don't feel like it's that, like, I don't feel like it's disappointing though in some way. What is this enlightenment card? You haven't been letting go or you haven't been manifesting, manifesting your dreams because you're focused on the wrong situation or person. What is this enlightenment? Ace of Swords, a message in the Page of Cups. Chariot. Somebody's coming towards you. There's a message that's um, already around you. It's coming towards you. It's you know maybe from a Cancer. It's good news, and you need to really look at this because it's important. It could be a message from a friend or someone gives you some advice. Also, or it can be the person who's coming toward you with love. There's definitely an offer of love here. Um, it could be a uh, Pisces, but listen to your intuition. Yeah, all is not as it seems. Maybe, uh, yeah, it's kind of like something's coming in for you, Scorpio, and you're going to decide, do I let that other thing go? Yeah, because something better is coming in. The Two of Cups is under the deck. Maybe you've been hanging on to something because you feel like it's the right thing to do or like you are, you know, you don't want to be selfish or you don't, you know, want to pick wrong. But it's almost like for one thing, it feels like it's something that makes you really happy and excited. The person, the situation makes you really happy and excited. But because you weren't going to let something go or like maybe you feel like you're going to disappoint the family or disappoint somebody. But it's like you're not choosing with your heart is also what I'm seeing. So again, something you're on the right path regarding some aspect of your life, guaranteed success. And it had to do with like an offer of like of love and a new beginning with Ace of Coins commitment. So I would say be open to new. And it doesn't mean it has to necessarily be a new person, just different from what you're doing now. Show me what Scorpio needs to know to make it more clear. It's safe for you to love. There is a soulmate and having heart-to-heart -heart conversations very soon. Some of you may also be like not open to love because you're afraid to get hurt, you're afraid to love or move on, you're afraid to let go and be open is also what I'm getting. I wanna grab this other deck, okay. I also feel like, yeah, you've been kind of like, something has been unfair for you and now it's time for Scorpio to receive blessings and like that. Soulmates, you got the, in this deck also. Listen to your intuition, higher power. It's time to come to the edge, take a leap. You also have serendipity, right place, right now. And the next card that wanted to come with it is here and now. So it's soon. Show Scorpio. Show Scorpio. Let's go to this deck. Show Scorpio, come to the edge. Listen to your intuition, take that leap. Right timing, here and now. Five of Cups in reverse. Getting over sadness. Six of coins, receiving a gift, receiving something, something is fair, and then nine of coins. Wow. Someone could be giving you something as well. The knight of swords. 
the world, the fool and the page of swords, a new message coming in. Six of wands, under the deck. I feel like you have proven that you can make the money, you manifested the money, the job, the career, also is what I'm getting here. Um, there could be a second chance, but you're gonna have to make a decision. Self-care, clearing your energy, taking care of yourself, healing, rejection, and you learned the lesson. Some of you turned something away because you decided to take care of yourself. You decided that the best path, best path was to heal, take care of yourself, heal any rejection, heal, heal any sadness. It's like you, you're done with that. You learned the lesson. You didn't go back to the past, and now it's time to, again, like you're out of that phase. It's time for something new, new love. I feel like for a lot of you, this is healing old wounds from love and now starting something new in your love life. So anything specific? Let me see if there's any specific message for you, Scorpio, as far as who it is. Because I saw um, fire and earth, but it can be anything. Who is the new person? New person for Scorpio. Three of coins, judgment. Ace of coins, something new. Lovers. Wands. I feel like it's something you're going to be invited to with the three of coins. Again, it could be something with family. It could be uh, going to, if you have family or people like family, possibly like a group activity, a group event, something like that. Someone who could have fire, air, and earth in their chart. Someone who's very passionate very grounded, wants to give some sort of commitment, the Ace of Coins. They could be a lot of fun. Yeah, I feel like some of you are going to be this, like, I saw the Eight of Swords in the Tower, kind of like blown out of where you're at. Things are changing. Uh, you could be moving, too, within, um, you won't see it now, probably, but within maybe six months. Some of you are receiving more money. I see a blessing of money, giving you money, giving you gifts of money. Yep, Queen of Cups. It's done. So I definitely see someone giving to you, giving you money, ha making you happy, wanting to bless you or, you know, take care of you or protect you or whatever you want to call it. Maybe just making you happy. Let's just say that. Dating. So I see that things are changing for you, big time Scorpio. Okay. I'm going to leave it there, you guys. Have a great week.